creme anglaise, a classic French recipe for a base custard that can be used in so many different applications. Let's get started. Now, it's essential to make sure that you are whipping the egg yolks and the sugar until you reach the ribbon stage. Now, that just means that you're getting air into the egg yolks and the sugar, and that really helps for this mixture to become extra velvety in the end. You might see some recipes for creme anglaise that include a vanilla bean. That's fine if you have the extra funds to purchase vanilla beans. You can also use vanilla paste and that would be delicious as well. For our purposes, we will be using vanilla extract and don't worry, it'll still be absolutely delicious. So as you can see here, I have really whipped the egg yolks and the sugar. So now it is very much that ribbon stage that I'm looking for. It's much paler and you can see that it's thickened a little bit as well. That's what you're looking for. And then you can go ahead and heat your dairy ingredients. So we're going to heat our dairy ingredients uh, in a little saucepan. And I'm using a saucepan instead of a pot so that you can really see in my video how quickly it, it is going to coagulate. The egg yolks are going to coagulate. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and heat that up. And I've uh, created this screen here so you could see what I'm doing. And I've just gotten the cream to a scalding point. And now that it's at the scalding point, I'm going to go ahead and temper this into my egg yolk sugar mixture. That just means that I'm adding it slowly so as to not shock the egg yolks and curdle them or overcook them. This is a necessary step anytime you're doing any type of custard. So this is considered a stovetop custard because it is cooked completely on the stove. You don't bake it or anything like that. Again, though, creme anglaise can be utilized for a lot of different applications. So what you might do in this application this week is use it for the accompanying sauce for your creme caramel. You could also pair another recipe with it, too, to have an accompanying sauce. Usually it goes with a souffle, sometimes with a cake or something. But for this week, you can pair it with your creme caramel. So now we have to put it back into the sauce pot so that we can let it thicken on the stove. Now it's time to let it thicken on the stove. I have it at a medium low heat. I don't want to scorch the bottom of this at all. A good way to determine if your creme anglaise is finished is through the nappe consistency. And so I'm going to show you at the end of this video what nappe consistency means. It is coating the back of a spoon properly so that you don't have it running. Another way to tell that creme anglaise is good to go is that all of these bub frothy bubbles on the top will be gone. And you'll notice that once it's received full co coagulation, that all of those are gone. Did you know that ice cream is made from using creme anglaise? So if you use creme anglaise as a base, you can add different other flavorings to it and then use it in the ice cream maker and it will be delicious ice cream. Creme anglaise is also used in some chocolate mousse recipes. White chocolate mousse, raspberry chocolate mousse, dark chocolate mousse, milk chocolate mousse. So a lot of different other applications for this base recipe, this stovetop custard. So as you can see here, I am just doing my best to ensure that I'm uh, pulling the creme anglaise through the pan. I want to make sure I don't have any scorching areas and I'm just going to let this cook on that medium low heat until it starts to thicken.
Now this thickening process happens fast. You see it's already getting thick and I'm pulling my spatula through and you can see that it's leaving a little bit of a trail and you can see the bottom of the pot for a few seconds. It has very, very slight simmer to it so we have to take it off immediately. I'm going to do that test, the nappe test. You see that I bring the other spoon and I drag it down and you see that it's not running. The sauce is not running. It's done. Now the key also to making sure your creme anglaise is stored properly is to immediately chill it. So if you have a large batch, you're going to want to put this over an ice bath. So for us, we've made such a small amount, so just put it into a small container and put it into the fridge. And it will continue to kind of set and thicken as it goes into the fridge. So I'm just putting it into my container and when I'm ready to plate my creme caramel later, I'll bring it back out to use. Have fun with this recipe. Creme anglaise can be stored in the refrigerator for a few days, but it really doesn't last too much longer than that because of the perishable ingredients. Also, it can be made as a base like this, and then once it's made into the base, you can add different flavorings to your preference to really jazz up and customize your creme anglaise. Good luck!